Light camera action. I'm ready for my close-up, Chief. Oh, wait. I almost forgot the answer to the quiz. The answer is C. A buckaroo is what they call the boys who help out with the bucking broncos. Now, back to my close-up. The cowboy legend lives on up there on the silver screen. Go, go, back to the Gene Autry Museum. Roy Rogers, Lone Ranger, and the most famous singing cowboy, Gene Autry. I'd sing too, but it upsets the cows and they give sour milk. Look at those outfits. The sequins would probably blind your horse. No wonder those saddles were blazing. Wonder how I'd look in a sequin trench coat. According to my investigation, the genuine cowboy getup came from the Mexican vaqueros. That wide brim hat was the American version of the vaqueros sombrero. It's useful for keeping the sun out of your eyes, fanning a campfire, and scooping water for the horses. See those heavy leather pants covering those cowboys' legs? They're called chaps. They protected their legs from thorns, and horses with a biting problem. The saddle did double duty. First, as a rock-hard seat during a long day on the trail, and second, as a rock-hard pillow at night. Wonder what the horses used for pillows. I'd like to get myself a pair of these cowboy boots. They didn't wear these high heels for dancing. They were used to hold the silver spur. They also helped the cowboys balance when roping cattle. Would you believe those spurs help move the horses along? How about slicing small pizzas? Cutting tiny little postage stamps? Cowboy movies are great, but they can't compare with the grit and excitement of a real cowboy on a working dude ranch in New Mexico. That's where they raise working dudes. They say, I'll have to work for my supper. Go, go, gadget lasso. These cowboys rise with the sun to start their day. They put on their rugged western gear, then they head them on up and move them out onto the wide open range for a cattle roundup. Wonder why they let the cows get out there in the first place. Some of these cows look like they're training for a New Mexico marathon. After a rough day in the saddle, it feels good to sit on a nice hard rock and sing some cowboy tunes. All that roping and riding works up an appetite. So it's time to head for the chuck wagon. Does that mean the cook's name is Chuck? Or do they chuck the food into your plate? Actually, it's a portable kitchen that makes you feel at home on the ring. After roping and riding in a saddle for weeks on end, a cowboy's idea of a good time is to rope and ride in the saddle for hours on end. It's called a rodeo. Go figure. Look at that spurring style as he takes it down. Oh, a rodeo is actually a cowboy carnival that they take pretty seriously. Even the kids or buckaroos get in the act. They even have clowns. Wowzers, look at that fucking bronco. That'll teach him to leave their saddle blanket on a cactus. The trick is to stay on for eight seconds. I think the real trick is to never saddle up in the first place. Phew, I'm saddle sore just watching them. Well, buckaroos and buckarettes, as the sun sinks slowly in the west, it's time for the old inspector to say adios. That's Spanish for goodbye. Or cowboy talk for my rear end is sore. Hope you had fun in the Wild West. I'm off to try my luck in full riding. Go, go, get your shock absorbers. Until next time, go, go, get your field trip.